Hey guys, so this is a crazy story all about how we went back to go and uh, re-record footage because we lost footage from the original recording because, well, something happened to it, Wrath of God or some shit. But funnier even so that the re-recording also still suffered some corruption, regrettably. Though the best part about this is we didn't lose technically everything because I discovered I have half of the original and we're not re-recording this because it's not worth the time. So I'm basically just going to describe to you everything that happens. Basically, I talked with a handler who had no personality whatsoever and we went out to the Great Ravine. Basically, just a giant rock climb to take a look at where Zora Magdaros went because reasons, and then we triggered a cutscene for the third scene for the third area, which went like this. Oh. Wow. Race you down there. <laughs> Come on, this way. After that, we wound up in a new area with some new people to talk to, including, I think it's the leader of the fourth ship? I don't really remember, and it doesn't really matter, because, honestly, if you just change everyone's appearance and all their titles around, it wouldn't matter who you're talking to. Anyways, they give us the instruction to basically investigate the third area, which we are going to do, and also, I think I picked up an amulet before this, and I remember whatever. Stuff happened. Yeah, that's really all you missed. What's going on, guys? The Inhuman Beat Town. I'm back with more Monster Hunter World. Hey, what's up? We're back. A dinosaur story. The gang's story. all here, minus one. Yeah, Tutor is not here, unfortunately. He's eating. And I'm alone anyways, because I have to head into the Coral Highlands. Oh, yeah. The other funny thing I found out about what the behemoth weapon is, uh, I don't know if you saw me put it in chat, but... Uh, I did not. It's it's the gay bulk. Oh, Nice. You know, you can just craft the Gaybolg in uh, Monster Hunter. And then it has an upgrade where it turns into the true Gaybolg. Hey there, would you mind taking these? It's a charm. It's the subject of all my research. I will even man prove one of your equipment skills. Or I'll give you a new one. Go on, give it a try. Since you being stranded in the Coral Highlands, I've been studying the first wyvern's melding techniques. <laughs> it's been a long, arduous process, but I've at long last, at long, but at long last, I may learn pr proper sentences. I love this cutting in and out that I've also <laughs> just makes it seem like he's further trunk. <laughs> I'm having a stroke right now. I've managed to produce before. this one charm. <laughs> I've been waiting for ages for a hunter to come along and try it out. He started out like really old, and then he got country somewhere along the way. <laughs> <laughs> Out in the field, give it lots of love for me, okay? Uh, Yeehaw! Charm's a piece of gear that can activate skills. Only one can be equipped at a time. All right. Yeah, so that's what we meant when we said equip the fair wind charm, but you don't uh, have it, so. All right, so. The fair wind charm is just, ooh. For ooh. early game people, ooh. So tasty. There is an equivalent charm you can equip, which is the divine blessing charm, but you don't be able to craft that until late game, I don't think. How do I equip... Ch oh, I found it. It's, it's just in your equipment. It's a separate... Yeah, category. I was just trying to look. It The equipment is kind of yeah. like not the best setup for UI. Okay. So now, that setup... Honestly, it could be worse. It could be, but it's not that great either. Alright, so let's head to the Coral Highlands. <laughs> On Adventure's Way, let's go! Lydia's in the way, left Oh yeah, go. maybe now you'll actually hear the music if you have it. 
on. Well, the problem isn't on. It's just my shitty earbuds. Yeah. Which I gotta change these ears. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, there we go. So oh yeah. The, the other funny thing. So I'm for, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, so for those people who don't know or don't remember, the way I have this set up right now is I have my good headphones hooked up to the computer so I can hear these jackasses. And I have a shitty earbud hooked up to my TV so I can hear the game and so it doesn't get picked up by my microphone. So I'm constantly flip-flopping ears so it doesn't hurt after multiple hours of usage. It's called adapting. Mm. (laughs) So it's like right now I have the headphone on my left ear. I have the earbud shoved in my right ear. Mm, Fun. Absolutely. Couple more ones. Oh, look, like a got to NP5. Good for you, Tutoru. I don't know if he has time to do that. I mean, I've got I got my Skiak final ascended. I have not. I did. She's only level seven. <laughs> Dude, I was ascending mine the moment I ended part. Uh, part look, zero. I have a bunch of servants one. I need to level up. She's not the priority right now. I believe I can fly. Right. Dear. Hey, Krim, are you in the gathering hub yet? No. Okay. I mean, we can kind of just wait. For... No, well, we can wait there for him because as soon as he fires that SOS flare, we can join him. Yeah, I have to track some kind of monster first, though. I have to. Mm-hmm. I have to sight a Tiziki Yaku. Basically, you'll see what. Don't say a word. Yeah, say let him discover. <laughs> I don't like it's it a brand new world for him. It's a whole new place with a brand well, new oh. attitude, but you still okay. gotta catch them all and be the best that you can be. All I'm gonna Just say is, for something the worst blue. monster there. It's blue, bubba dee, bubba die, but dubba dee, dubba. Die, dubba dee, I'm gonna dubba. take the sword and shove it down your throat now. Yo, listen up. Here's a story. It's about, about a little guy, guy that lives in a blue world. world. And all day, and all day, day night, and in this world. is blue. Like just him, like him inside and outside yeah. blue his house, outside, with his, blue blue his house in the blue, blue little window, window and a blue corvette, blue corvette. <laughs> and everything was blue to blue him and, and himself, himself and everybody around because he ain't got nobody to listen to listen to i'm blue damn it blue, a <laughs> <laughs> just like that crim leaves <laughs> satan if you Yo, can hear me listen. now strike them down <laughs> Satan's got to do something. He's obviously not good at giving gotcha rolls. Obviously. All those at one time. Uh, the funny thing is, I bet you... It feels like I got my gotcha rolls by praying to Dante's, but I don't have a Dante's, so, like... Where's I don't know how this works. I got the power of the wait and hope from Dante's, but he's not with me. He's with you in spirit. <laughs> Via my Dante. Dante's. But he's not even up, is he? <laughs> Dante is a different list. person. Oh, oh, cutscene. There you go. Oh, that's the thing. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm going to do real quick? It might do a bit more damage, but I'm going to switch to Dante's sword just so I can oh. show it off because it's actually cool. Blue terrifying velociraptor? Um. Yeah. Can you SOS flare yet? I'll tell you as soon as I'm out of the cutscene. Dante's devil sword is now clipped. Now we just have almost full Dante cosplay, except for the stupid head. Uh, no, I can't fire an SOS. Do you need to do the other objectives first, then? Yeah, search for know. a campsite. Okay. I mean, technically, up. it doesn't say I have to fight this thing. Yeah, you don't have to. All you need to do is get the cutscene, and then you I, can get the camp. I kind of want to fight it, though. Well... <laughs> Like, it's gonna take a while. when all of us are there. Go find the campsite first. I mean, technically, doesn't having more people increase the difficulty? There's only, only two campsites in the Coral Highlands, so you're literally finding the only other one. So it's not going to be too bad. Uh, how do like I know I said, if I found up. a campsite? You have to keep heading up, yes. Yeah. Uh, huh? 
And then there's going to be a big wall of vines, and then you climb up that wall of vines, and then you head to the left, and then there's going to be a small hole to the right, and then in that hole is where the campsite is. And it's just a jump to the left. As descriptions I can give. But they were also vague. How many walls of vines there are? Look, I'll keep your memory vague. No, when I say, you know the one I'm talking about, right, Krim? The really big one? Yeah, the Jai Fuck Normus. But he yeah. doesn't know what it looks like because he never that's played it. the game before. <laughs> but, you, but look, okay, that's the best I could do, okay? Like, I don't. Keep your memory I don't what do you want from me? So you won't feel bad about me. I say the things that you say. Sometimes the wind reminds Next me. Actually, no, I think after this, he has to go back to the research center. <laughs> I am paralyzed, but I have another quest to, to go hunting. By you and want to make you okay, move. I have to, I have to, I have to, I have to conveniently ask. Did you know the song I was singing was by Finger Eleven? <laughs> no. Because it is. Who also <laughs> does Paralyzer? High coincidence. <laughs> That's also off the same album as Paralyzer. I don't know. <laughs> Bands, I know songs. You're like my mom. She says the exact same thing. I don't know bands, I know the songs. And I'm like, but how do you not know one or the other? <sighs> now I'm thinking back to what I said before. This thing just looks like it wants to rape my butthole. But it's really uh, mm. not that sad Tasty. for me. Now the question. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say now comes the good part. Uh, question: Which parts of that? Which part of what I just sang was real and what isn't? I'm gonna say all of it. Uh, you're wrong. The uh, but it's really not that sad for me is actually part of the song. I just don't remember the part that comes before it. Uh, this... It's so good to see you. Why did you become a Jewish grandmother? <laughs> Why is it to be Jewish? Because that's the stereotypical Jewish accent. Oh, how you doing? <laughs> like it wasn't what the actual character sounded like, but... <laughs> Have you met my grandson? Alright, so the monster was up here. So. I feel like I should be nearby? I don't rightly know. I don't. I don't know. You'll see a big wall of. Really big flat area that's a bunch of white. And then you climb up the vines. On the other side of the vines, I know, cause that's that's the pit. Okay, describe what you're looking at. Your environment. Okay, I'm up on the cliff that the monster was on when he jumped down. That doesn't help us. There should be a second area above that. Uh, Give me a hot second. You know what'll help us better is using map numbers. Uh, there is not anything above this. Coral. I am in seven. All right, I'm opening up the wiki real quick. <laughs> I look. Fuck is this shit? Okay. Coral Highlands location seven? map. Thank seven. you. Okay, you need to go to eight. Okay. That's your problem. I well, I was just like the monster came from this direction, so this must be where I go, because I follow logic. You forget, this is anime land now. Look, anime land falls yeah. outside. So you here. head to area 8, and then from area 8, you head I can. Up, I think I can find the rest. <laughs> you head up to area 10, and then from area 10, it's either area 8 or 10, where you reach area 12. Wait, how am I in 6 now? And the camp is in area 13. Okay, so that's four. Hey, Voss, did you got the Google up? You want to do something for me real quick? Sure. 
Where oh, the fuck do I find uh, Monster Bone Plus? I think it's small. I don't know, but it's got a plus on it. I don't know where the fuck I get it. Wait, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Monster Bone Plus should be in high. Okay, this right. it's not, because I've got two already. I don't remember where. Okay. This is material. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to fight this thing because I need something to happen in this fucking Monsters episode. Monsters that drop Monster Bone Plus. Uh, okay. Those are spoilers. High rank Jarger is cool, like cool, and CC Yaku drop it. And a couple of low rank monsters Brian hasn't seen yet drop it. Okay, that explains it then. Mmm, <laughs> let's see. You're pissing me off. How are you yeah. fighting the raptor thing? No! Yes. yes! I can't help you if you don't find a camp. Look, it's on the camp! It's not on the camp if you're not in Area 13. I'm where a big giant X is in Area 8. The fuck? Yeah, the X is where it's moving. That's the X dumb. Is on the map mean... Hmm? Why would they mark that? So you because can it's to better? show migration patterns to help might That's mark them. That's... Dodge! Yeah, don't die. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh, yeah, you're welcome. Wow. Really, really appreciate that you appreciate me, Brian. Kill wow. You. <laughs> <laughs> and I will I'm sending some uh, passive aggressiveness. What gave it away? Yeah, oh, weird, huh? Shocker. Ah, that's my sixth sense kicking in. Oh. Wow, we. Mark the places that might be good campsites. Oh, now you mark them. <laughs> The game's like, you're taking too long. Here's the answer. You're a stupid bitch. Not you, the fucking handler. You won't get tired of my voice, will you? Not Tracer, I'm gonna punch you. Forget who the voice actor is for the handler. He might be the voice actor for Tracer. Then not. All the other, all the other voice actors for this game are like major voices in the video game and industry Probably to a degree. I guess they wanted for their Are voice. they really? Well, fucking the commander's voice Sojuro and Nier and a whole bunch of other voices. And uh field team leader is Matthew Mercer. Is he really? Man, he got wasted. Yes. <laughs> yep. And then I'm pretty sure Sirius Handler and the other one are also known voice I was going to say, wow, they wasted uh, Matt Mercer. Yeah, they wasted so much. And then... Um, it's like, they yeah. all give pretty decent performances. I just yeah, don't here, give a me, shit about the characters. Let me look at this. Let me, I'll look at the voice actor list. Monster Hunter World. Hi, this expedition voice was actor. so boring. We're talking about the voice actors right now. <laughs> Monster Hunter World, 16 cast images behind the voice actors. Behind the fours are the burgers. Burger, burger, burger. All right, All right. Going handler, what have you voiced? I see you've returned empty-handed. What? A shame. Voiced. Anyway, you have a visitor. Well, look who it is. My uh -oh, two favorite hard robot workers. A third fleet master here tells me you went, uh, you went out on expedition oh, no. in the Coral Highlands searching for a Zora Magdaros clues. She also tells me there is this rotten veil way, way down beneath us, which gave me an idea. If we want to be able to access the veil, we need a means to get down there. So I propose that we resurrect the wreck wrecked base. Wrecked base? As in rigging it with balloons to reconvert it into an airship. And the leader here is all for it. <laughs> oh yes, rig to your heart's content. From the air, we'll be able to survey the rotten veil unimpeded. And hopefully, that's where we'll pick up Zora's trail. Okay, The airship she didn't... engineer said he'll take good care of the ship construction. All we, need is to, all we need to do is deliver the goods. 
According to the scholar's materials from the monster called the Palomo are just the tr ticket. You take care of the Palomo hunt. That'll free me up to go look for some secondary materials. Deal? Oops. Oh, and here. The old man said to give this to you. It's a specialized tool made using materials from the local monsters. We had a handful of bio samples kicking around the Astra, so they decided to put them to use. The old man said he hopes the new gear helps you out in the field. You'll put it to good use, I'm sure. Get going. Well, let's get let's get to it. Good luck. Okay, what'd you give me? Glider mantle. Oh. That's the Batman mantle. Oh, it's the fun times mantle in the Coral Highlands. <laughs>